You know, Half-Life 2 Lost Coast was cool in its day, but the Aperture Desk Job may be Valve's best demo since Half-Life Uplink. Everybody knows Valve releasing a new video game is rather rare these days, and even if they do, they kind of have their sights set on VR, at least it seems so. I mean, Half-Life Alex is great, yet I still would like a regular first-person shooter by Valve. You know, like in the good old days. But it is not 2006 anymore, it's 22 and Valve just released the Steam Deck and Gabe himself is delivering it. It is Valve's answer to mobile gaming and a frontal assault on the Nintendo Switch. And for their new portable console, they have released a new portal-themed tech demo running on the Source Engine 2. The Aperture Desk Job. And you know, we had Source 2 third-person view, we had Source 2 VR in first-person, and now we have Source 2 first-person without VR. I think we are going into a good direction there. Anyways. The Aperture Desk Job takes you back into the world of Portal and sticks you into the boots of a regular Joe working man. Working hard in the toilet testing department. And right from the get-go, you know, it's typically dank Portal humor. You are about to take part in the greatest science adventure at the greatest applied sciences company on Earth. This is important work, and you are just the genius to do it. God gave you these gifts. I'm giving you the opportunity to use them. Well, here's your lab. I don't mind telling you, we're excited up here. Moon landing excited. Newton, Einstein. Wait a minute, that's, you. that's not right. I think I put the wrong tape in, hold on. Good luck, world's best science. Okay, here we go. You, in the overalls, get to work or you're fired. Your very mundane job is being supervised by a personality core, a concept familiar to you from Portal 2. Of course, your job doesn't stay so mundane for long, since your supervisor friend has a few crazy ideas he wants to test. And you have to introduce them to Cave Johnson. You know, he has a quick money-making scheme. Even though he's a robot. Do you know what the punishment for murder is? They told us in parole officer school, you're not gonna like this, uh, it's life. Your whole life in prison. We should... Yeah, we, we, we should leave. Don't touch anything. And bring the desk. Irregardless of the game being rather short, it does give you a few insights into the lore of the Portal universe, which I don't want to address further. Let me just say that there are a few things from the original Portal that you should try to remember before playing this game. Like this whole weird mantis thing. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. The game is free and it's short, so there's no reason why you shouldn't experience it for yourself instead of having it spoon-fed to you by me. Despite this little game being created with the Steam Deck in mind, you are able to download it from Steam for free and play it on your PC. So no Steam Deck is required, but you do need a controller. The game is not meant to be played with a mouse and keyboard, and I will soon tell you why. Of course, Valve's own controller works perfectly fine, but you don't really need it. Any other modern controller should work. I personally just plugged a PS4 controller into my PC and the game immediately recognized it. No setup required, just plug and play. And the reason why a mouse and keyboard are not the best input devices for this game is the fact that it relies on gyroscopic motion controls. That's what you are seeing right now. The motions from the controller are directly translated into the game. And yes, you could control such a game with a mouse, but it just wouldn't be as fun as with a controller. I mean, the whole challenge would go away. You could just, just click immediately. It wouldn't just be so fun. And even if you have no Steam Deck, nor a modern controller, you know, the PS2 ones won't really cut it even with a USB adapter, even then, 
There is hope, as even a smartphone can be set up to mimic a controller. A Patreon of mine tested it, I'll link the program Zane used in the video description. It's not a perfect option, but it's an option. So I am 99% sure you have everything to test this game. I can only say, do it, it's fun. It's even worth it playing it multiple times, as Mr. Johnson does react differently to your behavior. Uh, no major story changes, nonetheless it's cool. And I must say, the detailing here is amazing. Everyone has been talking about how great the physics are, and well, they are, but what I noticed is how nicely represented the wear and tear on your desk is, in addition of course to the just on point 70s retro science fiction style. Back in Portal 2, I really enjoyed the passages with these old dusty offices. I enjoy the style. Uh, talking about style, the game also comes with a banger soundtrack. You heard it in the beginning. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Inmate must state their name, print their name, then sign their name. After the tone, state your name into the desk. Uh, uh, escalation. Shit. Oh, it's empty. Inmate's name is now preserved for the permanent record as... Uh, uh, escalation. Shit. Oh, it's empty. And, of course, as with every new Valve release, it is a goldmine for people trying to sift through all the files and finding, well, you know, hints for future Valve products. Valve really has a terrible record of cleaning up their files. I mean, Tyler already had a field day with the game and, yeah, there may be things to be found in the game that really hint through solid development at future titles. I'm looking forward to that. The most important thing, of course, we do have a golden toilet in the game files. <laughs> and all I can say now is, just go ahead and play it. I had a blast. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, consider subscribing for future content, and if you absolutely love what we do, why not consider supporting us on Patreon, as our supporters there got to see this video well in advance. Our generous supporters are Lone Wolf, Zat Gladys, Wrapped in Glass, Cookie, Zane, Theto, Harrison Staffens, Plasma, Tome, Gris Livia, Strange Module, Cop Fighter, Inter, Charles Surrit, Albany Knight, Sir K, Ram Gilama, Scarch Warrior, and as of late, Whiskey. Thanks for joining us. To them and everyone else, thanks for watching. So, see you guys next time. Until then, have a nice day and as always, goodbye and guten tag.